many of them used OTP passwords for making transactions but my question is how many of you know this generating OTP is the most secure algorithm in the world till now in this tutorials we are going to see about the working of most successful encryption algorithm in the world in this tutorials we are going to see about how this algorithm works how can we implement this algorithm in python programming before get into tutorials please like share comment and subscribe for more updates so guys new community tab is unlocked for our channel i already posted some commands in here you can check it and we can chat and we can share our thoughts together the one tip that is the algorithm we are currently use to produce so many number of otps this is considered as the one of the famous algorithm in ancient times and nowadays also it was created by gilbert perman in 1970 who originally developed this algorithm and it is the provable and secure way of protecting the messages look at this image it shows the original message that is the plain text and the key that means the otp the otp value we are adding into the plain text after that we need to assign the numbers to the alphabets so look at this image here a value is 1 and total 26 letters and 26 values are there but we take a value as 0 and so totally 25 numbers for 26 letters here we need to follow four steps step 1 we need to take the plain text numbers and the otp key numbers that we assigned step 2 you need to add those numbers step 3 you will get new numbers taking the modulus of 26 26 represents total number of alphabets in step 4 you will get cipher text so implement the four steps in this picture you will get the answer let's implement this algorithm in python programming you need to install the library that is called as one time pair After that, we need to encrypt our plain text using one time pad. Here, one two three four four five is the key that is used for encrypting our plain text, and this is the random key. so here it shows the encrypted form of our message after that we need to start our decrypting process so in the process of decryption we need to use the same random key for the decryption process 